Welcome to episode two. Today we're going to talk about Jesse Livermore. There are four reasons why I chose him. First, he was the greatest trader in Wall Street from 1900 to 1930. Second, he was a runaway kid at the age of 14. Third, he is the only self-made billionaire who committed suicide. Fourth, his failure are as interesting as his success. This video is divided into two parts. Part one, the biography of Jesse Livermore. Part two, the top 10 trading rules according to Jesse Livermore. Here is a picture of Jesse Livermore. He's famous for being very handsome, uh, very rich, and very secretive. He was born in Shrewsbury, Massachusetts in 1877. He was a math wizard in school. His father wanted him to grow potato and forced him to quit school. At the age of 14, with the help of his mother, he ran away to escape a life of farming. He started out as a runner for Payne Webber in Boston. His job was transferring data from the tapes onto the blackboard. He figured out the pattern and movement of stock prices. Now here's a picture of the same Payne Webber office in Boston. After one year, he began betting in the bucket shop. In 1892, by age 15, he had made a thousand dollars. So what is a bucket shop? This is a picture of a bucket shop. A bucket shop is illegal today. Those days, speculators gather to make bets with the house. There is no real transaction or transfer of stock ownership. So in a way, it is like a small local casino. The bucket shop used real price quotes. Here's a picture of speculators reading tapes. At age 21, Jesse Livermore moved to Wall Street in New York. He had no choice because the bucket shops refused to let him bet after losing big money to him. Within six months, he was bankrupt. He discovered he had to learn new trading skills in Wall Street. He made his first fortune in the aftermath of the San Francisco earthquake in 1906. He shorted the railroad stock Union Pacific and he made $250,000 profit. In 1907, at the age of 30, he would become a millionaire with a net worth of $3 million. In 10 years, he has transformed himself from boy plunger in bucket shops to tycoon trader in Wall Street. A very handsome and rich man, he would also be a famous womanizer. He would marry three times. During the crash of 1929, Jesse Livermore made a killing by shorting the market. It was said he made $100 million. In today's term, $100 million would be around $14 billion. In the next 10 years, he would lose more than 95% of his money. In 1940, with the encouragement of his son, he wrote his trading secrets in the book How to Trade in Stocks. In 1940, at the age of 63, Jesse Livermore committed suicide by shooting himself. This is his last picture taken with his third and last wife. His most famous and immortal work is the book Reminiscences of a Stock Operator. It is said that this is the first book that every trader in Wall Street reads. The following are the top 10 trading rules of Jesse Livermore. Rule number one, rule number five, and rule number seven are my favorites. Rule number one, Wall Street never changes. There's nothing new on Wall Street or in stock speculation. What has happened in the past will happen again 
and again and again. This is because human nature does not change. Rule number two, trading is hard work. It is not a game for the stupid, the mentally lazy, or the get-rich-quick adventurer. They will die poor. Rule number three, trade both ways. There's only one side of the stock market, and it is not the bull side or the bear side, but the right side. Rule number four, don't trade all the time. There's a time to go long, there's a time to go short, and there's a time to go fishing. Rule number five, sit tight. Men who can both be right and sit tight are uncommon. It was never my thinking that made the big money for me. It always was sitting. I like this one. It is your ass that's making you money, not your brain. Rule number six, don't average down. Always sell what shows you a loss and keep what shows you a profit. Rule number seven, watching the leaders. Watch the market leaders. The stocks that have led the charge upward in a bull market. That is where the action is and where the money is to be made. As the leaders go, so goes the entire market. If you cannot make money in the leaders, you're not going to make money in the stock market. Rule number eight, stock market is confusing. The stock market is never obvious. It is designed to fool most of the people most of the time. Rule number nine, trend following. Don't trust your own opinion and back your judgment until the action of the market itself confirms your opinion. Rule number 10, don't listen to tips. If I buy stocks on Smith tip, I must sell the same stock on Smith tip. I'm depending on him. Suppose Smith is away on a holiday when the selling time comes around. What have we learned today? The successes and failures of Jesse Livermore are obvious to everyone. Jesse Livermore is the only self-made billionaire who committed suicide. The lesson here, it is very difficult to make a fortune. It is equally difficult to keep a fortune. Please leave your comments below. I will do another episode, How to Trade Like Jesse Livermore, soon. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.